Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I only said Erica just because I said Erica in that other place, but this is actually the guy that kind of greeted us when we were in here. Someone sat you here with an inscription. Ghostmaster Toby, Poison Storm Deck. Why, well, yes, I would love to. Of all the masters here, you'd like to challenge me most? I, I, I actually beat the other four to, to your right. But anyway, are you prepared to fight? Then meet me at the dueling table. So yeah, Toby is the guy who... Yep, that one. Let's have a fun fight. I mean, a full full fight with six prize cards. It will be fun, but it's a full fight. Now, remember I said that one of these guys had a really weird deck that wasn't all that good? This is the one. <laughs> I don't know what kind of build this is. But it doesn't work very well. <laughs> like, why is there just Weedle, for instance, and none of the evolutions? Like, why wouldn't you want the Kakuna with its poison touch ability, you know, when you attack it? Like, I, I don't I don't get this deck. Please tell me it's not just me that doesn't get this deck. I don't <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go lead out thusly, and now, now just watch, he's gonna win. Just utterly destroy me, because I'm gonna have bad draws, just because I'm... I'm <laughs> there's the Weedle! <laughs> just because I'm, uh, kind of picking fun at his deck, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright, so, there's our ten. Ooh, traitor already! <laughs> um... That makes me wonder if I should just go straight for Dragonair or something. You know, and just skip actually powering up the seal. That probably is the wise way to go. So I'm gonna do that. Just kinda let him do whatever to seal, I suppose. I'll get the Pokemon to swap in. Oh, and he doesn't use Charizard. He only goes up to Charmeleon, uh, the base set variety. So, yeah. So, yeah, you, you, you go ahead and take your prize card. Feel proud about that, Mr. Catface. I'll go with the Dratini. And call it a turn, and I guess whether or not he attacks, it won't matter, because it's going to be the same to the, uh, the seal, because of the poison, or the pack, but yeah. Um, let's go Lapras, I haven't been able to trade into the Dragonair. I still have the water to use and abuse, so let's go Staryu, Water Gun, let's go. And we can keep accelerating that damage, as long as he's not happy with that. We rarely see him happy in general, let's put it that way. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna do the poison, of course. It's part of the strategy! But I can do a lot more damage a lot quicker than that. <laughs> and yeah, it's still 20, you know what I mean? But it's not really... It's it's not in his favor based on how things go, you know what I mean? It's, it, it's, I guess what I'm saying is that his deck is just generally too slow. Is Bill. So that could be my trade that I need. Energy. Ooh, wow. Um. What should I use that with? Wow, uh. I would like the energy removal. Actually, maybe I should hold off in general, because I don't does he I don't think he uses fire energy. <laughs> He's just using the colorless, you know, the char char charmander line. For the Slash, for the Charmeleon, but yeah, it still seems weird that he's not using Charizard because of Energy Burn to transform any energy into fire. Uh, but yeah, I really want to use that for... I wonder if you're going to use these, but do I really want to... Maybe not, I'll just Water Gun. <laughs> I just dissolve off right now, because I'm going to get the discard from the uh, Needle anyway. Just kind of save it for something that's important, I suppose. Yeah, he's got the magma. That's that's a pretty nice one there. Plus power. I think he's also got Scyther as well, which is pretty good too. But it's not really. Yeah. Well, I, I, it, it's his deck. But... <laughs> All right, let's go, Staryu. Oh, Professor. Oh, hello. Well, now, <laughs> now it's like game over. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, um. I mean, yeah, I got the Professor off from the prize card, but I mean, it's like, it's game over in general. Um, I'm gonna go for the energy removal on, I think, this Charmander, because it's got the double colorless. 
I'm tempted to super energy removal using the Dratinis on this Charmander for the future. And then we're gonna go... Do I want to use the... Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should put that on there first and just not attack with Staryu, because I might get a Dragonair. And that is a pretty helpful little beater, I've got to say, with all sorts of effects. Uh, energy removal to boots. That is... That is unfortunate for you now, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, I got, yeah, I got the water as expected, but I don't know if I want to really play... Uh, I should probably at least dump out my hand. Uh, let's call it a turn. Yeah, the, see, the Charmander without fire energy is not that big of a threat, because it's only going to be nicking away with 10 damage per turn. So, Staryu is pretty good right now, especially since I'll be able to slap a Roo there. Wait, should I even... I don't know if I should even bother energy removal. <laughs> um, gonna, I think what I should do is we're gonna go trade Dugong for Seal, and that'll put the Dugong back in the deck, which I can potentially redraw. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Stu that. And oh, like yeah, whatever, whatever. No, just <laughs> I was thinking I should save it. Nah, I'm in, I'm in good shape. See if I redraw the Dugong. I didn't. That's all right. Not that big of a deal. I still have a, a Wiggly waiting in the wings. But yeah, see what I mean about his deck being very weird? It, it just doesn't work all that well. So you could even mess around pretty freely. <laughs> and yeah, you might you might get the Magmar going, maybe, but that's not really that threatening. Even if I wasn't using a water deck, it's not that threatening. Anyway, let's finish off the Charmander, because he realized, yeah, that Charmander's on its way out. I should probably, probably have something else prepared on the side. And that's not looking good either. Uh, oh, does have fire energy. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, okay. <laughs> that's all right with me, though, for I have a Wigglytuff. I think I've actually put out the seal first. I have the uh, double damage going there. Uh, and then just kind of save the Wiggly for the finishing moves that energy removal is... Uh, well, there's my Dugo, by the way, as well. Um, uh, energy removal is going to be kind of kind of doom. So yeah, I can't attach any more energies, you see. So I got to kind of wait on the finishing of the Charmander. He might try and do 10 more damage to my seal in the meantime, but... Uh, I guess that is what he's going to do. That's okay with me. I've got more removal where that came from. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I'll use the removal on that. I'll just go for the Headbutts and Evolve with Dugong on the next turn. Because you can't even knock it out with the uh, um, Ember even if he wanted to. So, yeah. Well, I guess maybe he could with the plus power, but nah. nah. And now, with the power of evolution, it heals the poison instantly! I'm not sure how that works, but I will take it! And Aurora Beam knocks out the Weedle. So yeah, you see the Weedle, his idea is indeed to use that to poison stuff as per the strategy of his deck, like Magmar's got the smoke screen, and everything like that, but still, why not that Kakuna? I don't understand... Why not the Kakuna? <laughs> it, it utterly baffles me! <laughs> Um, should I trade for something? Might want to I'd go for a Starmie. I think I'm gonna do that. I trade the Dratini for a Starmie for the future. But for now, let's just Aurora Beam that Magmar into Oblivion and end our turn. Well, it's kind of forced to end our turn. We attack because that's how. Yep, he does a Scyther. <laughs> But yeah, it is a forced end turn uh, whenever you attack. And so he's going, gonna go, probably go for the... Uh, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna go for the Scyther Sword Stance Double Colorless Energy combo. You know, so he powers up and then just wipes me on the next turn, but... I'm not sure he'll even be able to pull that off. Uh, well... I don't know. I, I wonder if he would've been better off actually poisoning <laughs> the Dugong. I don't know, maybe. Oh, anyway, he's happy! He's happy! A rare point of happiness! He's got Kangaskhan! That gives him great hope! 
as does the Charmeleon! And... okay, so I'll use the Swords Dance. So that probably means I should energy removal that. Probably. Just, just in case, you know what I mean? <laughs> just to play it safe, because I got the Dugong. Um... Let's go... Let's put it on Dratini. And maybe I should go for the other Dugong as well. And Arby. So yeah, now he's probably going to use Scyther's free switch, because he realized, yeah, that Swords Dance is not going to work. Yep, there it is! <laughs> Just as I thought, and he's probably going to double colorless into something eventually, because his plan was foiled. But for now, I'm just going to attack the Kangaskhan and see... Oh, oh, he's happy again! Very, very happiness. Um, I win. <laughs> this attack. <laughs> yeah, as, I, I don't think rebattling him will make much of a difference. I gave him a lot of time. <laughs> so yeah, I don't understand his deck at all how this was built. And he's one of the Ghost Masters, huh? I don't... I don't know about that. He must have been like the wild card or something. <laughs> wow, color me surprise. I actually lost. Uh, yes, <laughs> I thought it's just as shocked as you are. <laughs> um... Hmm... Okay, okay. <laughs> well, that's that. Prepare yourself for your next duel. Hopefully we'll meet again, Mint. And next up is a train conductor, Ghostmaster Frank, Big Thunder deck. Ooh, oh, versus my waters! Oh man! If you want to fight me, go sit at the dueling table. Um, well, actually, his Big Thunder deck is based around the legendary Zapdos trying to cause random damage to my Pokémon, so it doesn't work that well. <laughs> I mean, it, it can work, like, it can utterly sweep you on the first turn and win, but it's so rare. This is the kind of deck that I was talking about that you could make with the legendary Zapdos, but it just doesn't work that well. You just have to... it's like all the planets have to be in alignment. I'm Frank, glad you asked the fight. Alrighty then, let's head us... let's, let's have us a six prize card bolt. Zappy Zappy time with the big thunder. Yeah, it's named after... Uh, Zapdos is Big Thunder, but anyway. We'll see if that Zapdos can even get to that point. I <laughs> uh, what should I lead with here? Uh, probably this Lapras, I guess. Then Seal is back up along with Dratini, because the Lapras can possibly get up to Confuse Ray, and that'll really mess things up while everything else just kind of has basic attacks of Chansey. So, alright, where is your Zapdos? Where is your Zapdos? I think he's got four of those legendary Zapdos. That's far too many for any deck. Ah, <laughs> uh, ooh, energy removal right off the bat. Oh yeah, Ditto is there to uh, copy the sort of kind of Zapdos to be able to do more Zappy Zappies, possibly. But it could end up morphing into a Chansey anyway. So that may not even work either. He's just going on a lot of coin flips, let me tell you. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just... Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess I'll just leave it as is and water gun. I don't know why I thought it's attaching another energy is the first turn, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at the situation. Oh, hello, energy removal. Ah, uh, yes, you do have those in your deck. That is, the, the, so these Ghostmasters should actually have more of those in, in their deck, in all honesty, because they don't really have as many as they should. Because Energy Roll is just really good, it's really splashable, and just sets your opponent back in so many different ways. It's defensive, maybe even offensive in some cases, because you can stall them out from being able to do some junk. Oh, nice, got the confusion right away. So I want to confuse the Chansey, because it'll prevent it from retreating. Although, he might just use Scoop Up anyway. Oh, there it is! Alright, what you gonna hit today? What you gonna hit today? You're gonna hit? You're gonna hit- Oh, your own Chansey! That's too bad! <laughs> this is why you do not use that Zapdos ever! Like, when I used that one duel, I just used it just because it was 
kind of fun to use it. But I mean, if you're making some sort of serious deck, don't count on it working. Um, you might be able to start. No, I was gonna I, actually maybe not. I was gonna say you might be able to start big thundering soon, but you might just end up attacking ever anything other than my side. So I don't know. Might not much. Not, might not matter that much. I'm just gonna go give it a water gun. Try and knock out the Chansey before he scoops it up. But I think if he had scoop up, he would use it on the Zapdos. Uh, defender on the Chansey. Good move. Stall out for a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, I suppose. I mean, it, it, you know, it could end up destroying my side after all, so. <laughs> not, not very likely, but it could. Anyway, I'll do 10 damage to Chansey and call it a turn. And. This is probably where it'll scoop up the Chansey. I uh, know. Alright. It's like, yeah, even if the Zapdos comes into play, it's still... Is it gonna hit? I don't know! <laughs> I mean, it's gonna hit something, but it doesn't mean it's gonna hit my something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, oh, he doesn't have any more energy, so I sucked that out of him, too. Uh, let's just go straight for the Dragonair, then. And try and suck the energy out of that Zapdos. Should I go for the Confusery or should I just start water gunning? I should probably Confusery so I can't retreat. Nice! I was gonna say, if I get Confusion, I'd be able to prevent retreats. And that also puts it in the sort of so and so, I guess you could say, multiplier of the, uh, uh, of Lapras's water gun, because it's doing 30 damage per hit. Uh, well, actually, come to think of it, if I wouldn't have drawn. That water energy would have been back down to 20. Nope! <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what this deck either. <laughs> this is like... The part of I don't knows about the decks. Uh, I could trade for pretty much anything I want at this point. I could go trade the... Uh, I mean, I could evolve with the Dugong, but then trade the Dragonair and Starmie in for Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff if I wanted to. But I'll wait to see what I could be doing here. That may be best. And you know that Zapdos, it doesn't... I don't believe it applies weakness and resistance. Okay, Peel of Thunder, here we go! Is it gonna hit his own Zapdos? Is it gonna hit one of my critters? What's it gonna hit? Let's hit his, <laughs> his own Zapdos! So he knocked out his own Zapdos a turn early! <laughs> <laughs> Zapdos, just why would you ever play that in a serious deck? <laughs> I mean, these are supposed to be the Ghost Masters, the masters of all the cards, and stuff like that. Oh, no, confused that time, but. <laughs> so, yeah, even if, even if I weren't, were to let Zapdos attack, it might not matter, because it's. Potentially just wipe himself out <laughs> with the big thunder. And it, chances are pretty good at this point, he probably will do that. Anyway, let's go for the Confuse Ray again. There we go. Prevents the retreat. Well, it helps prevent the retreat. Um, doesn't do any damage, but Water Gun would have only did 10 anyway, but it's just the idea of disabling Zapdos even further than its own powers allow itself. <laughs> Uh, that did. I was gonna be going for the morph, as you can tell there. So, uh, might not make much of a difference, but we shall see. Once it gets to that point, he might. Uh, <laughs> as I said, he might just end up destroying himself. Ooh, super energy removal, and swapping out one on the ditto for my Lapras's two. They're gonna go do that, and yeah, keep on the water gunning. I suppose it'll take two more turns to do that because of that, but eh, eh, should be fine. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna instead, instead of powering up the water gun again, I'm gonna go straight to the dugong because Lapras is, uh, it, it's kind of slow in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah, La Lapras is made mainly as a defensive critter, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, why did you attach up this? Why would? Are you trying to go for the retreat? But what? N that's impossible. You can't go for the retreat because I'll be knocking you out unless you were going to energy removal me and 
Ah! Alright, I'm gonna try and stop the ditto from diddling. Actually, uh, actually, I think Morph was three, wasn't it? Well, maybe that was a waste. I don't know, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Alright, let's draw that jiggly. <laughs> actually, I didn't know what I was drawing, I just said jiggly after I drew it. Alright, do your Morph. And... Ditto back to the deck, zap. <laughs> You're really trying hard at that zap dose, aren't you? Alright, you, you'll really eventually hit me, I think. I think you will eventually get... get it. <laughs> and then he retreats to Diddle! Rather than, rather than using Morph! Oh my Arceus! This is... wow! Um... <laughs> yeah, as like I said, his deck is... it randomly works sometimes. <laughs> But it's very, very rare when it works. <laughs> uh, let's do the confusory tactic again. Nope. Alright, whatever. <laughs> and where's the scoop up? Because, you know, he, he likes to re reuse the Zapdos of scoop up, if I recall correctly. Doesn't work all that well, but he likes to reuse the Zapdos. I'll just use Water Gun. Just, just, yeah, if, he's not, if he doesn't have energy, I might as well. Because it's not going to be attacking anyway. Oh no! Oh 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 oh! On defender. Okay. Oh, he might actually have something now. Maybe. I I wouldn't count on it. Let's put Jigglypuff in play to get a Wiggly going. Um, actually, I should do that just to give it HP to survive the big thunder. And hmm, I'll just go confused by this time because he used defender. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not getting that confusion off, but he might just knock out his own ditto with that big thunder anyway. Let's see. Well, let's see if he expl- Oh my god. He actually hit his own ditto indeed. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is unreal. Like, are you- are- Am I dreaming this? <laughs> Um, okay, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna water gun, like, just, whatever he hits with Big Thunder, it doesn't much matter at this point, because I either knock it out with the Lapras or I knock it out with the Dugong. So, oh, he's switching. <laughs> Frank, please. Please. I, I, I'm dying here from laughter. Alright, uh, water gun. <laughs> Just don't- this- if there's any example of why you should never use this Zapdos, this game is it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go for the wiggly top, I guess. Just keep nicking away at that chance he'll take two more hits from Water Gun. That's why I'm not Confuse Raying, because Confuse Ray seems kind of moot in the grand scheme of things, based on uh, how much HP it has and the multiply, uh, 3 times 4. Um, yeah, water gun. <laughs> I suppose. Actually, maybe I should have went for the Confuse Ray, because that was kind of useless compared to a Confuse Ray, because at least I could prevent them from potentially retreating with the Chansey, but I don't know if it'll even matter. <laughs> in all honesty, I've even got the energy removal out the wazoo! Uh, yeah, it's Water Gun. I don't need to do 20 because I don't have another water to attach to Lapras right now, but I could get one on the next turn. Uh, Zapdos, so that's gonna be energy removal now that he's got two. <laughs> it's just it's just a total uphill battle for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have the water, but... <laughs> It's this fine as is. He might scoop up. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Put that Chansey back in play. And if I get a water, I'll just knock out the Zapdos outright, which I did. So there's my knockout anyway. So he's gonna have to stall with Chansey as long as he can. He's kind of running out of Zapdos, though. <laughs> I don't even know if I have to do anything either. I mean, he just might end up knocking out all of his own critters. Uh, yeah, he's got a double chancy going on here. And, well... Wait, wait, I want to see what the discard pile is really quick. Zapdos. Did all he knocked out Zapdos? Zapdos, chan... 
<laughs> so he's got one more Zapdos, I think. I don't know if I'll I put it into play immediately. I mean, maybe he learned his lesson. I wouldn't count on it, though. Alright, it's Water Gun. He might go for the Scrunch on the next turn, but if he does, I'm just going to Super Energy Removal that. And that looks like what he's going to do. If he gets Tail, that's even worse for him, because he's not going to get the Scrunch and I'll be able to Super Energy Removal him anywhere. So... Uh-huh. There we go. That back on Dragonair, where it belongs. And Water Gun. Well, it, wasn't, it isn't technically back on Dragonair, because the other one that I use for the Super Energy Removal is in Discard Pile, but I mean, I'm keeping Dragonair powered up in general. Uh, I got the Double Colorless for the Wiggly, by the way. Which I may just... I guess I could just plop that in play. Why not? I need one more prize card at this point, and... Pretty much anything could... Oh, 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 oh! Although... I could just switch over to Dugong. Well, that's how the game goes. <laughs> uh, yeah. That Zapdos was a complete and utter detriment to his game. Like, the entire game. Every single one of Zapdos' attacks backfired on him. <laughs> <laughs> Without that beat all. Incredibly done, kid. Present booster pack, of course. I'll give present booster packs. The trio is the raro. Okay. I'll be here waiting for you. Challenge me again sometime. I'll be seeing you. Alright, and with that hilarious duel, actually duels for that matter, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we battle Duelist 7 and 8.